Hi, I'm Brad Lidge, pitcher for the Philadelphia Phillies. I grew up uh, as a Catholic in a very Catholic household, and, and uh, my whole life I've always been uh, a, a follower of Jesus. And, and uh, um, going to college at University of Notre Dame, also a Catholic school, um, I've always had a pretty good background in um, uh, in religion for my family, and I thank them for that. And I've always, it's always been something that I've taken with me to my heart. And uh, um, to this day, I mean, there's. Uh, uh, it's, it's something that's always stuck with me and I've used in my life to, to help me get through just about any situation I've been in. If I look at my career as a baseball player, uh, there's, there's a few things that I would say being a believer in Christ has, has helped me get through and, and has helped me uh, put things in perspective. And, and the biggest thing I think when you're, when you're playing baseball is uh, you realize that the highs don't need to be as high and the lows don't need to be as low because there's, there's something else that's much bigger and much more important in your life besides baseball and that's uh, um, Jesus and God and when you have that perspective I think everything else you do um, kind of kind of takes a back seat but at the same time you can just relax and do it because you know there's more important things out there uh, things that uh, um, are a lot more worth it in your life. Well you know hopefully uh, you know, obviously one of the big things we want to do is, is lead by example. And I think that, uh, you know, if other people are, are around me and they feel like, hey, you know what, this guy, um, he, he talks about God and, and uh, you know, he, he says he's Christian, you know, I want to see what he's doing and, and what he's about. And uh, if we can have uh, a good example, if people can look at us and see we're consistently doing the right thing, then I think that that, that lets them feel that they have uh, something they can hold on to and, and uh, hopefully it can change their life and, and uh, make them want to do the same type of thing. I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, just just take the time to to, to open up the Bible, um, to read the words that Jesus said. I mean, you know, there's there's a lot of things that uh, um, you know people can say about uh, different religions and everything else. But I think if you really understand the true meaning of Jesus and you really take the time to just open up the Bible and read the words He said, uh, you'll realize how valuable they are, and you'll realize the good that they that they have in them. And and uh, I think that it almost it's almost impossible not to let it hit your heart and uh, if you just give it a chance to um, to let it affect you a little bit it'll pour in and I think that's uh, the most important part of it is that um, it doesn't have to force itself on you it'll it'll get there if, if you just give it the time to do so well, I think one thing you have to realize is that uh, you know everyone says you gotta work hard and, and of course that's true but um, you, know, you also have to realize that uh, Whatever happens in your life is 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 what God is the path your, is the path God wants you to be on I should say and, and uh, you got to be able to dedicate yourself mentally and physically and I think that a lot of people have a lot of physical skills and a lot of people are mentally involved but they don't necessarily have both but I think that there is a way that you can gain both uh, you can gain an edge in both and, and it takes a lot of work it takes asking guys that have the experience um, what they did to get there and I think uh, the biggest thing is you have to discipline yourself to have the desire to do it every day and uh, fall back on what you know um, and, and realize that, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's Matthew 17, 20. It says, uh, um, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can, move, you can say to a mountain, move from here to there and it will do so. So if you believe in yourself, you believe in God and you're doing everything you can, then uh, you're going to be able to accomplish some amazing things.